Elsewhere tonight, doctors say there are a number of risk factors that can attack your heart. There are heredity factors, elevated cholesterol, also a history of smoking that can play an impact. All of them can land you on an operating table, and that's exactly what happened to someone you know very well. But tonight, he wants his story to serve as a call to action for those of you who might think you have nothing to fear. In 2017, the Ad Council released this commercial. A woman climbs over a mountain of cigarettes, the ones she smoked over her lifetime. The ad urged people to get their lungs checked out. And I said, well, there's this commercial on TV with this lady and she's climbing up a mountain on all fours and then you look at it and it's a mountain of cigarette butts and let's face it, back in the early days, we all had bad habits. That ad was a wake up call for Jerry Anderson. He says he went to his doctor, got the test, and his lungs were fine. But after a second look years later. But it did show some cardiac artery calcification. Build up in his arteries, and that was limiting blood flow to the heart. We're talking heart disease, and the CDC says it's the number one killer of Americans. So for Jerry, that meant more tests. I did games here after my calf, where I knew I was blocked. He still wanted to be excited. You know, three pointer. You know. I didn't want to go uh, three-pointer. <laughs> Just playing it safe, people. As more and more people are getting these studies done, we're actually seeing a lot of these folks because of calcification that they note on their coronary circulation during the lung CAT scan. And Jerry says that's what they saw on his test. But it was serious blockage, too much. And open-heart surgery was his best option. Both he and his wife knew it. And I knew what he was out there telling her. And then she comes back and pulls open the curtain and she looked at me and I, not to be a wimp, I just started crying. And on March 4th, Jerry Anderson went under the knife. Today, Jerry's retirement is marching to a new beat. Morning therapy sessions at Wood County Hospital. And he now has the time to realize he was fortunate. There were no severe symptoms, there was no pain, and there was no heart attack. I would probably be out running around Bowling Green, as I do. I have little courses, sidewalk okay. courses around neighborhoods in BG or on the treadmill in my basement. You know, gotta go more, gotta go more. And it could, you know, and I got lucky. I got lucky. So he had a 34% risk of a adverse cardiac event in the next 10 years. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. The doctor says Jerry's attention to his health was a key factor in early detection, and he wants others to do the same. Two years ago, he started walking down this new path in life called retirement, which I got to say I'm a huge fan of. <laughs> do it. Do it earlier than later. But for this former TV anchor, life in retirement threw him an ad lib. Jerry's got more therapy to come. It's Katie Hamplin. But he says he's thankful. It'll all get him back to his beloved Stroh Center, announcing BGSU basketball games in the fall. 44, Maddie Cole. Doctors can't stress enough getting regular checkups because if you think that this is just a guy thing, well, you're wrong. According to the CDC, heart disease is the leading cause of mortality for black and white females, accounting for one in five deaths nationwide.